more stuff. Because it's uh, that's where I am most happy. That's where I'm regenerated. That's where I come back. I always a great big smile on my face, regardless of condition. Next weekend I'll be uh, winter camping up in Killarney for ten. So it's uh, going up for three days. Killarney. Yeah, throw my <laughs> tent on the snow with a few cedar boughs, and away we go. It's uh, the painting up there that time of year is spectacular. There's not a soul. The occasional wolf, but there's not a soul around anywhere. It's just it. This gorgeous, pristine snow on top of these uh, granite and uh, quartz hillsides, which go up about eight, 900 feet above the water level, and in between that is a band of cedars, and then above that is a band of uh, deciduous forest, which is now developing this gorgeous pink glow. And I was talking about the fact that we as artists are unique. We have better vision than anybody else. So what we have to do is go out into what we see and actually take aspects of it that resonate with our artistic personality, give them a little nudge, so that when other people look at that work, they see what they've been missing for years. As we say, look stupid. Now pay attention. You know, it's just so important to try and get that happening in your work. I brought a few examples of things that I wanted to chat with you about briefly. A couple of you, because you know me really well, have heard a couple of these things before because it's these are fundamentals. And uh, don't grow. <laughs> now Brian back there has seen this cube a few times. But uh, I painted hundreds of these cubes. I have them in wood, I have them in foam. Uh, because they are the building blocks of everything we do as painters, absolutely everything. So when you're painting abstractly, non-objective uh, material, whether you're painting uh, an impressionist style or photorealism, whether you're doing anything to do with uh, the art on a two-dimensional service, you have to have a sense of values, light and dark. And if you can't grasp light and dark really, really, really well, it won't work. And it's as simple as then I was talking to a group about you know, Psycho, the film was um, Alfred Hitchcock, and it was a film that was filmed in black and white. 